Hello, welcome to part four of my beginner's guide to Civilization V, and I'm playing the Incans. So we'll carry on, and I'll just I'll talk about various issues as and when they they come up. My main issue now is to get happiness up, so that I can plant a few more cities down here. I think, um, but it's the end of a turn. Let's just see generally how I'm doing. Demographics is how I, I do it. So it's a rough way to see. Obviously approval is not very good, my ranking. But I've got some good potential here. Good population. Good gross national product. Soldiers weak. Approval weak. Okay. Got to deal with happiness and military, basically, if I want to keep up. Well, he wants to pay me some money in order to go through my territory, but I don't see why I should let him in there. If it's an equal deal, maybe. Nope, well, clear off then. I could do with a bit of money, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. So I'm getting naught per turn, so got to be careful there as well. Some more trade would be the thing to do. I could build a caravan. I've got two trade routes out of three possible at the moment. A great writer, hooray! Let's just gain some general culture points, shall we? So there. Well, keep exploring, and the Frenchies can deal with those barbarians. I don't know quite why I'm fighting them. Explore. And stop exploring now, because I want you to get better. Um, ooh. A caravan or a cargo ship? Well, I'll start with a caravan. Let's see how it goes. I also need to promote my religion a bit, which I because I don't really have one. I've got paganism of some sort, which is not as good as uh, a proper religion. That means more temples and things like that, but they cost money, and I'm making a loss at the moment. Soldiers cost money, etc. So what can I research? Something to make me some money, maybe. Oops, where are we? Here we go. Well, banking is a bit of a way off, but I can go for it. If I leave it too long, you see, this, this losing money business will take its time. Oh, those rotters are chasing me. Oh. I don't know why my explorer is hanging around these stupid barbarians. The AI is a bit chronic when it comes to explorers. Okay, I can do with some gold per turn, yes. Why? 
Are there barbarians right next to me here? Caravanserai increases gold from land-based trade routes, and I have one from this city. There it is. So let's build one. Market increases money. Better do it, I suppose. And why are there no workers over here? Hopefully they're on their way. A great prophet. Now I can found a religion. So let's see what I've got. It's not going to tell me yet. I've got to do this. I'll get there. Right. A trade route. A caravan can go where? Somewhere useful, hopefully. Not really. I can go to Ife again, overland. Might as well do that for now. It's better than nothing. The range gradually increases as the game goes on. These pests are going to be destroyed. Market. See, it's grown, so it now is quicker to build. The city has grown. Now I can found a religion. Oh, some of them have already been picked, so what shall I have? Oh, has this one been picked? Shinto. That's the symbol for Shinto. I'm going to change the name to what? Um, Never mind a shin, let's have a big toe. There we go. Now I can add a founder belief and a follower belief from my great prophet, which are basically just extra things that your religion can do. Something to help happiness, I think, is a good idea. Because I need money too, but I think happiness is harder to achieve in this game at the higher levels. And I'm playing at Prince level, which is enough to make it difficult. And a follower belief. Temples provide plus two culture, could be good. Extra faith, extra food, extra faith, extra culture and tourism, if I build the hermitage. Extra growth if the city is not at war. Actually, that's pretty good. I'll go for that. So I've got big toe. Yeah. Now I need to build, when I get some faith, um, some missionaries to help spread it, and maybe some inquisi inquisitors to get rid of these. Inquisitors sort of kill or get rid of foreign religions, and missionaries convert people to your religion. Um, I'm not quite sure which is best. 
bit of both sometimes. Oh, more in exchange. What will make this deal work? No, bugger off. Um, pardon me, but I prefer an even-handed deal. It may be that my sieve is a bit bigger than his, so in, it, it biases it towards my paying for it, but um, I don't need to. It does mean I can't send a, a caravan into his city, I suppose. But uh, I'll, I will live without it for the moment. Now he would like to pay to explore my territory. Nope. Declaration of friendship. All right, that means there are big diplomatic penalties if either of us attack the other whilst the declaration of friendship is in force. I've got no intention of attacking him at the moment. Oops, this is off the screen, isn't it? These little things I've been pointing to. There we go. Get them back. It's because uh, I have this YouTube resolution, so it's um, a little bit awkward. It doesn't quite fit what resolutions that the game can do. Horses for spices. Oh, he wants a bit more, does he? Offer's not good enough. Well, let's try four, oops, four horses, sorry. Good. I hope I did four there, but anyway. It's not the end of the world. These can't be built because I need to build something in certain cities. I'll build another worker. This this sort of train is hard to work. Jungle takes a long time to process for workers, um, if they're allowed to do it in the options. Jungle is good later in the game because it gives you extra science, so it's kind of good not to dig it all up. My science is still rather low. Automatic. Or, better still, let's... Okay, somebody's heading over there anyway. Let's just automate him then. All right. I was going to say build a road over there, but uh, he'll get on with it by himself. I can just build some science. I think it's better for me...
see what I need. Don't need a work boat. Let's build a knight. Well, I might be able to purchase a unit or a building. This city is... Uh, I, I have 43 faith, so I may be able to build, buy something. That price goes up the more things you buy. Can't see anything that I can afford to buy, I'm afraid. I don't know why it thinks that. Maybe I was looking in the wrong city. Great artist, hooray! I can have a golden age or I can create a great work. Ooh. I'll have a golden age, it just speed things up a bit. Hooray! Hmm, I've run out of horses. I don't really desperately need units at the moment. I'm not happy enough to settle another city. I get a guy ready. I thought I had a caravan trade route here or something. Yes, I have. I can see the little arrows going there. So how come I need to build a caravanserai? I thought I'd built it already. Maybe not here. Oh, a social policy. I can uh, adjust my government a bit. I could adopt one of these, or I can keep developing liberty. Speeds the training of settlers, well. And a free one appears. Well, I'm not happy enough for that at the moment. I'll do this simply to increase happiness straight away. There we go. S from zero to six. That's more like it. I can now afford to found at least one city. It's interesting that the French aren't able to get rid of those barbarians. Are these whales surplus? Yes, they are. If there's a two there, then it's worth it's trading. If I, if, if I trade when there's a one, I use my last resource up, I believe. So, fine. Actually, what about tying it with open borders? I forget it then. Right, propose. Sitting there waiting for the turn, and I haven't pressed the button.
Bang, bang, bang. What's happened? I've got banking. I can start building some banks. I've entered the Renaissance. Ho, ho, hee, ho. And, oh, my caravan needs renewing. But because I have open borders with Korea now, I can try there. Ten. I look at the money, basically, when I'm doing this. I mean, there's other things that you get by trading. If you trade with your own cities, you can swap production between or food between cities. Um, with other civilizations, I will gain gold, science, and some pressure for Catholicism. But they will gain some gold, some science, and some pressure for Big Toe. But the best city to trade with, for me, is Seoul, because there's a load of money in it, basically. That's, that's my view of that trading, basically. That's how I do it. As I've mentioned, you don't have to build where it recommends. But the recommendation's usually sort of reasonable. This is going to be too close to Philadelphia and the Americans will object. Maybe they'll be alright. Seven, seven hexes. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Some sieves complain on seven hexes, but not on eight. Um, bank, please, because when the golden age ends, I will so need that. Am I able to build a missionary or something here? No, I can't afford it, right. I'm looking at the faith, you see, but... Okay, build. Oh dear. That's a workshop. Speed up productivity. I hope nobody attacks me at the moment, because my army is one of the weaker ones. I have to consider... consider my army, I have to consider culture, there's so many variables. Hmm. I'll think about military this time. Okay, a research agreement. It's kind of a long-winded way of converting money into research. And both parties benefit. I may have to pay for open borders with the Americans so that I can send caravans in and make some profit out of them. I'm building a Colosseum because it allows me to build a wonder. But once I've found another city, um, I'll need to build a Colosseum there. Or, um, uh, what does he want? Uh, accept embassy? Okay, 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 okay. Spices, are they surplus? Yes, they are. Iron, well. 
Alright. I have a bit of iron already, but it doesn't hurt to have a bit more. These are the resources. I would be using the iron, I think, but my military are a little bit behind the times. Explore again. Now I can build the East India Company, which is gold plus four. That's fantastic. Let's do it. Mm -mm. A spy stole the secrets of education. An Assyrian spy. So let's speak to this twerp. We demand that you cease spying on us. Thank you. It probably harms our diplomatic relations a bit, but and they don't necessarily obey it, but then it becomes an excuse for war. If an excuse is needed. I'm not sure that it is. I'm focusing on money before education and things like that because it pays for it. Um, I'm... ooh, happiness is down. I'm just going to sleep there for the moment. Are you not able to explore? Not at the moment. Okay, we'll skip the turn for the moment. I think this guy's in the way. They can only move so far and they have to move that far. It's a little bit strange. So I have the banking steel for my military. Compass for the boats. Acoustics for culture. Printing press for education. And happiness. Oh. Yes, that may be necessary, actually. Because it's a little bit dodgy at the moment. I'm at minus three. My golden age has ended. That's why it's suddenly plunged down. <coughs> These idiots are still here. I don't know. And why is my... Oh, I don't know. My chariot's just hopeless there. Um, wait. healed him a bit because these pikemen are good against horsey type things so I just want to get him away from these barbarian twerps
Yeah. I suppose I can afford to buy something outright, can I? With cash? Not really. Take a long time to build a bank here. Best get on with it, I suppose. Growth is very slow because happiness is very poor. In fact, I'm liable to have some rebels appearing in my territory at this level of my of unhappiness. Yes, go for it. That'll improve the happiness a bit. Um, whales, gems, marble, spices and salt. Those are giving extra happiness. So if I can find some other trade with some other diplomat, I can get back into the positive happiness. Or some trade with, yeah, with a diplomat, I suppose, with, with a foreign power. Can this horse chariot get away from here, for goodness sake? No, basically he's going to die any minute. don't think there's anything I can do about it. I'll have to do a ranged attack then. It won't do much harm, but... They've got him boxed in. Looking like I'm on a Pangaea world, um, one big continent. Here we go. The end. On the plus side, he's been reincarnated as a great prophet. I can enhance my religion, or I can spread it. Oh dear, this is a tough one. I think I've got to spread it. Um, come down here, Mr. Great Prophet. Fantastic. Good job. People are stealing... Stealing stuff from my cities. Let me just see. Um, I have a spy in one of these city-states, don't I? Bratislava. It's helping a bit. I think it's Bratislava. Began with a B anyway, didn't it? And they are friends. Okay, build a constabulary. I'll build one in Tiwanaku as well when I can. It's beneficial to have your religion in your cities because uh, it generates a bit more money, I believe, or something of that sort. More faith, I, I guess, and things of that sort. I haven't actually looked at it in uh, detail, but it's something along those lines. Now, I'm not interested in going to war. Go away. A barbarian somewhere. How oh, lovely. First of all, let's send this great prophet up here. Shall 
to bombard these idiots. Don't know if I can. Yeah, I can. Right. But it's across a river. Well, let them try and attack me. Maybe I should try a bit of diplomacy, see if I can up the happiness a bit. I don't have any surpluses for him. No surplus that he wants. This may not be feasible. I may have to pay these him for open borders. Oh, what? I'll accept it for now, but if it doesn't work out profitable for my caravans, I'm cancelling that. No other trades worth doing, right? I'm already trading with Sejong. See, I don't have surpluses anyway, but at least I can see what they're up to. Surplus. If I get a surplus, I can trade with him. All right. Boat's going, it's only one turn. Up the happiness. Up the education. Spread the religion. And I now have 16 followers there, fantastic. I think I might found that city now. I'm getting close to getting another free settler as well. I can build zoos. Great profit. You can go down here. No doubt I need to spread the religion here. Yes, I do. Choose production here. Get some basics.
Can I build something? Build a library, All right. I have a good financial surplus now. May purchase with faith. I'm not convinced that it's telling me the truth. Let's have a look. Nothing there is purchasable except that and I'd need to pay cash for a trireme. No thank you. It's talking nonsense. This is the last one following that religion. Yes, it's it's incorrect. It's calibrated itself wrongly. It's usually around about 130 something, but we'll see when we get there. Um, let's spread my religion. Hooray! We will all worship the Big Toe religion or something like that. Actually, that looks like a boot, doesn't it? Sort of Italy with some extra bits. Most well fed second, that's not bad. My profit is still alive. They, they sort of expire after a while. After so many efforts. I'll send him over here then. Am I going to build, settle this city I wonder? I can upgrade the unit. So he's now a knight. Um, it'll mean negative happiness though. Quickly build a zoom. I don't suppose I can purchase some small building to help. No. Yeah, I rigged the election in Bratislava with my spy. 
And now I'm friends with them, and so they send me a bit of culture. And I'll have a bit more. The passions evoked by clouds and rain joining their heads and twining their necks within the bed curtains. Truly, when feelings converge, one is apt to forget what happens to a brocade girdle. Yes. Increase the raid range of my sea trade routes. It could be good. Adopt a policy. No, the knight there that I built, he can settle down. A policy. I can either have, a, have an instant settler or I can. Improve the culture cost of policies. Do that for the moment. Oh. And to start a golden age as well. Brilliant. <laughs> I need to figure out where to settle next. I mean, up here. Maybe on the coast here somewhere. I have lots of cows and food, certainly some iron. Or down here, maybe. Barbarians hanging around there. There's not much in the way of great resources. There's some silk. There's some more silk there. That might be a place to go. Somewhere like this. Or, or up here. There's more silk up there, for example. Plenty of fish and cows and bananas and stone and horses and stuff. Yeah. I need to start thinking about the military a bit. I'm going to build a knight. I need to start thinking about happiness a bit as well. Gunpowder, military thinking. When you upgrade your military units, it can increase your expenses because the new unit may cost more per turn to maintain than the old one. The maintenance costs can get quite high in the modern era. It's not just one or two points per unit, sometimes it's like 10 or 20. One of my pesky cities has converted. Oh well. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Well, I need another profit or something eventually. I'll get one, I hope. To stop these guys sending out their silly Catholic missionaries. Or, oh, they're, they're the Muslims. Or are the Catholics then? The Americans, yes. Since I have money now, I think I will beef up the military a bit. It's not good to be too weak, it just encourages people like Attila the Hun to come and attack.
can also purchase something. My great prophet is just arriving there. Sort out these Catholics, will you? Getting a lot of great artists and whatnot. Here and my knight. There we go. He can go up here and stand guard up here somewhere, I suppose. Actually, it may be an idea to send him down here to this barbarian camp. Yeah. Great work of art. Looks pretty ordinary by modern day standards, doesn't it, really? But it's. Oh, there you go. It was greater for its time. Now, am I able to trade with those Americans and make a decent profit? Philadelphia, New York, Boston. Well, Philadelphia is the best city at the moment, so go there. So I am now profiting from that open borders agreement. going on down here. Even more great people, or a great writer and some great works of writing slots. Vocabulary to cut down on the spying a bit. It's better. Got rid of those Catholics, and the Great Prophet is now expired. But I think all my cities are now. Oh, except for this one. Right. They are not all big toe cities. I probably do have enough faith to buy a missionary or something. They're not as, not as powerful as great profits, but they're okay. Yep, let's keep on with the open borders. Three trade routes out of five possible. There's money there going to waste. Purchase a great missionary or great prophet or somebody. No, not yet. I need 200 faith. I've got 180, so a couple of turns.
Horses naught? Is that what I did? Come on. I should probably have changed the horses for something else. Oh no, I need them. I only have three surplus even after that deal. No wonder he accepted that deal before. It wasn't four horses, it was no, no horses. Oh, I don't know. Now, my routes have been extended now because of the harbour. So, Antwerp, Bratislava, no major civilizations, but 15, 16, 16, 17 for Singapore. Let's go there then. More money. Trade is ruthless. Uh, Capturing those those great profits, ha ha ha! But these guys are on my border. I've got to go. Just purchase something as well. And that is the hour, so we'll save the game, that's the end of part four. And if you want to see how the game goes on, I'll see you in part five. Bye for now.